Today I want to talk about a concept that we have not talked about on our channel yet, but it's time that we did. Values-based investing. Can you earn a reasonable rate of return and make an impact with your investing? We will answer that question all coming up next. Hey, this is Mel Stubbs. I'm a financial planner here at Christie Capital Management, and our goal is to help people apply God's wisdom to their finances, which would also mean to their investments. So today I want to introduce to you a concept of values-based investing and compare it to the old paradigm of investing. The way traditional investing has always been is that you really, it's always been about the financial return without any consideration to where the profits are coming from. And then completely unrelated, if an investor wanted to do some good, they would have to do that through their charitable giving. And which of these do you think has more money involved? Your investment accounts or your charitable giving? Well, most of us have a lot more money that we're investing as opposed to what we're charitably giving. And I think we all understand the impact you can have through charitable giving. But what if you could have impact through investing? That's where the values-based investing comes from. And we do that through three pillars of avoid, embrace, and engage. Avoid, as you might guess, is simply to avoid investing in companies that don't align with your values. A great example of this would be the tobacco industry, where even people who have chosen to use the products of tobacco companies would generally feel that their lives are not better for having done so. Now, the embrace pillar is just the exact opposite. You know, in that we're intentionally choosing a companies to invest in that are making a positive impact and making the world better. Example of this may be medical companies that are coming out with devices that are saving lives and curing diseases. And then the third pillar is called engaged, and it simply acknowledges that our money has a voice and that as shareholders, we are owners of the companies in our portfolio, even if it's a very small percentage. And we can vote proxies and engage with companies and their leadership on issues that are important to us. Now, if you're like me, you don't have time to become knowledgeable about all the different issues that are facing companies right now. I bet most of you don't even know the companies that you're invested in. Investing in an index causes us to not even think about the actual companies that we're partial owners of. But if you choose to invest through values-based mutual funds and ETF companies, those companies will do the research and advocate on your behalf, behind the scenes, and their advocacy will align with your values. They will vote the shares in a way that aligns with your values. They'll engage with management teams to make sure that their business practices and how they treat their customers and their employees align with your values. Now, this is not a new concept. There's been investment options like this for the last several decades, but these funds have been characterized by poor performance and higher fees. But as the industry has grown and improved, more and more investment options have come into the space, offering us now the ability to pursue the strong financial returns that you would want and the social return and positive impact that you didn't know you could achieve. Charitable giving is no longer the only way to use your money to impact the world for good. You can choose to invest your money with these companies making a positive impact on the world and they're treating the stakeholders around them in a positive manner. The old way of investing is just all about increased profits without regard to moral or ethical concerns of the companies owned. The charitable giving is supporting social causes without any need or expectation of a financial return. But what if you could support companies, invest in companies, be an owner in companies that are doing right things, that are doing things well, and by doing things well, they're increasing profits. You know, there are funds out there that have a track record of returns that are very similar to the market at large. This means you're not having to give up returns to make a difference. You could earn similar returns as you would just investing in the market at large, but you can do so in a way that aligns with your values. If this is something that interests you and you'd like more information on it, please go to christycapital.com. In the upper right hand corner, you can click on talk to an advisor. You can drop us a little message with your email, send it off, and someone will be in contact with you. If you want to call us, do so at the number on your screen. We feel as stewards that we are responsible for managing the resources in a way that can do good. If this is something that you want to do as well, we'd love to work with you. My name is Mel Stubbs. I'll see you in the next video. We need to do the proper disclaimers. The purpose of this video is not to give specific tax advice or investment advice. We're going over general principles and ideas that can be used and if used correctly can save and avoid taxes. You're gonna wanna work with someone personally who knows your situation personally. So seek out advice from an independent financial advisor. This is for educational purposes only. I hope you enjoyed the video.